Yeah, here's a question that just popped into my head because I, I know I get this all the time and I try to help people understand with my limited experience um, that there's there's use in all information, but mm-hmm. then there's also the context of where that information is coming from, what the purpose of that. There's a whole bunch of different layers to information, how we use it. But what is yeah. the difference if you could explain the difference between, because I think this may play into the conversation as well, between clinical data and scientific research. Right. So clinical data is a case study or a series of case studies that either individually or collectively point the clinician in a certain direction and give the clinician an idea about the etiology means underpinning cause of a disease process, be that what it may be. Mm -hmm. And it's that kind of data that usually underpins clinical practice guidelines for physicians, for example. That differs from scientific uh, inference in that what a scientist does is they set up a set of conditions which they control very, very tightly. Our subjects are not free living human beings if we're actually doing science. Mm -hmm. These are people, if if we're dealing with people, then the people that we're dealing with need to be a certain type of people. They need to be randomized in a certain way. They need to come into the lab so that we can keep them under control and observation. And we need to control absolutely every aspect that could conceivably possibly confound our results for the outcome variable we're looking at. Mm -hmm. And then what we want to do is look at the effect or the relationship between variable X and variable Y with everything else under tight control so that Z cannot have had an influence on our output Y as that relates to our input X, shall we say. Okay. Um, so it's about control manipulation. It's, it's, it's an experimental protocol in science. Unfortunately, there's been a huge amount of bleed over in the so-called scientific literature because study after study after study in human physiology, human nutrition, etc., is a mix between pure scientific um, experimental protocol and clinical observation data set. It's mm-hmm. papers all sit somewhere in there. Reason being is that it's almost impossible to do an actual experimental, properly controlled uh, piece of work with something as complex as a human being, let alone a whole bunch of human beings. Right. And so, unfortunately, it's the clinical, what I call naturalistic observations, really, um, that tend to inform. And as such, that leaves us open to making errors in how we interpret things and ergo how we interact, how we treat, how we intervene, both okay. in training methodologies and in the medical field, right. for example. Mm. Okay. 